some remarks, and unfortunately, we will not take questions. Okay. Allow me before doing that uh, to wish all the journalists that support covering the work of the United Nations and to wish all of you a happy new year and uh, from a professional, personal, and familiar perspective that 2020 becomes much better than 2019. Ladies and gentlemen, the new year has begun and our goal is in turmoil. We are living in dangerous times. Geopolitical tensions are at the highest level this century, and this turbulence is escalating. Even nuclear non-proliferation can no longer be taken for granted. This cauldron of tensions is leading more and more countries to take unpredicted decisions with unpredictable consequences and a profound risk of miscalculation. At the same time, we see trade and technological conflicts that fracture world markets, undermine growth and widen inequalities. And all the while, our planet is on fire, the climate crisis rages on. In many parts of the world, we see people frustrated and angry. We see increased social unrest and growing extremism, nationalism and radicalization with the dangerous advance of terrorism, notably in Africa. This situation cannot go on. I've been following the recent rise in global tensions with great concern. I'm in constant contact with leading officials around the world. And my message is simple and clear. Stop escalation. Exercise maximum restraint. Restart dialogue renew international cooperation. Let us not forget the terrible human suffering caused by war. As always, ordinary people pay the highest price. It is our common duty to avoid it. Thank you. Thank you. Is this a response to the killing of General Sulaimani?